There are many different ways in which someone can modify the Matrix. Agents have special privileges that enables them to change the code of the humans inside the simulation. What happened to Thomas Anderson in the interrogation scene when his mouth was fused shut is a small example of that. The architect may have been the one who changed the Matrix code in real time in order to ambush the Nebuchadnezzar's crew and capture Morpheus. These are just some of the instances of the code being changed, but there is one particular code modification that has piqued our interest. Food. What if I told you that the Oracle secretly modified Neil's code with food? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Before we begin today's video, we would like to proudly announce Matrix Explained memberships. Members will unlock badges and emojis for live chat and video premieres, alongside other benefits such as early access to videos and more, with other benefits being added in the near future. This directly helps us to continue to make content for all Matrix fans. So please join us and enjoy today's video. In order to understand how and why did the Oracle modify Neil's code, we must first understand the words of the Merovingian. The Merovingian is a trafficker of information, the leader of the Exiles, one of the oldest programs of the Matrix. He has lived through multiple versions of the simulation. He possibly even met Neil's predecessors. This puts the Merovingian in a unique position of power, unmatched by any other program. He knows where Neil's path will end. He knows that he will eventually return to the Source and restart the Matrix. Now then, why did Neo went to see the leader of the Exiles? The Oracle told Neo that for him to reach the Source, he needed the Keymaker, another program that is being held by the Merovingian. The Frenchman knew that Neo and his people are being led on by the Oracle. He did try to warn Neo of this in his own subtle way. You know why we are here. <laughs> I am a trafficker of information. I know everything I can. The question is, do you know why you are here? We are looking for the Keymaker. Oh yes, it is true. The Keymaker, of course. But this is not a reason, this is not a why. The Keymaker himself is very nature's means. It is not an end, and so, to look for him is to be looking for a means to do what? The Merovingian is questioning them if they were aware of where the Keymaker would lead them. He, of course, already knew about Neo's predecessors. So he asked this question because Neo and Morpheus are trapped in the Matrix, cursed to repeat the cycle. We know the answer to that question. But do you? You think you do, but you do not. You are here because you were sent here. You were told to come here and then you obeyed. <laughs> it is of course the way of all things. The only thing that Neo understood was that he needed the Keymaker, and the Merovingian already knew where that would lead him, to the Architect, where Neo would learn the truth. What makes this even more intriguing is when the Merovingian uses the word obey, implying that Neo is just following the Oracle without questioning, which is true. Now, what does any of this have to do with food? You see, there is only one constant. One universal, it is the only real truth. Causality. Action, reaction. Cause and effect. Everything begins with choice. No, wrong. Choice is an illusion created between those with power and those without. The Oracle added choice to stabilize the Matrix, but according to the Frenchman, choice is just a fantasy. So based on his words, we can assume that the Path of the One, as well as Morpheus and the Resistance, are predetermined by the Oracle and the Architect. Look there, there's that woman. My god, just look at her. Affecting everyone around her, so obvious, so bourgeois, so boring. What you see, I have sent her a dessert. A very special dessert. I wrote it myself. It 
it starts so simply. Each line of the program creating a new effect, just like poetry. First, a rush, heat, a heart flutters. You can see it now, yes? Here is where the concept of cause and effect is introduced. The sheer determinism that is also spoken by Agent Smith and the Oracle. The Merovingian explains this by sending a dessert to an innocent woman and revealing to Neo that he wrote its code. That he intentionally wanted to cause an unexpected effect in her body. An effect that would overtake her sense of reason. She does not understand why. Is it the wine? No. What is it then? What is the reason? And soon it does not matter. Soon the why and the reason are gone. And all that matters is the feeling itself. Now this is the nature of the universe. We struggle against it, we fight to deny it. But it is, of course, pretends it is a lie. Beneath our poised appearance, the truth is we are completely out of control. What's interesting about this scene is the foreshadowing of what is happening to Neo. The code inside that piece of cake took control of the woman's body, affecting her rational thinking. Her body is now acting basically on instinct. She is hopelessly out of control, manipulated by cause and effect. This theme is repeated when Neo is forced to decide to either save Trinity or humanity. The architect said that he could see the chemical precursors in Neo's head, leading him to an irrational choice based on love, which is similar to what the Merovingian explained. Causality. There is no escape from it. We are forever slaves to it. Our only hope, our only peace is to understand it, to understand the why. Why is what separates us from them. You from me. Why is the only real source of power? Without it, you are powerless. And this is how you come to me. Without why, without power. Another link in the chain. But fear not. Since I have seen how good you are at following orders, I will tell you what to do next. Run back and give the fortune tellers this message. Her time is almost. Now for those of you who have seen our other videos and know the truth about the Oracle, you can understand the role of the Merovingian. He wishes to break the Oracle's influence in the course of cause and effect. He is her adversary. If there was a program that could be called the Anti-Matrix, it would be the Merovingian, as he is fighting a battle beyond what we can comprehend with a single viewing of the film. But we'll get to that in a future video. Perhaps you have noticed that the Merovingian threatened the Oracle only after talking about the influence of food. This is not by chance. What could be seen as a philosophical dialogue without any repercussions is really an example of how the Merovingian wants Neo to open his eyes. Because just like the woman who took a bite of the cake, Neo's code was also manipulated. Need proof? Well, when Neo meets the Oracle for the first time, she is baking cookies. Remember. Neo is inside the Matrix. The cookies are not real. They are pieces of modified code. And Neo eats one of them. Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Neo was confused and skeptical about the Oracle's words. But the cookie, for some reason, calmed him down. We can deduce that Neo's code changed when he ate the cookie. His code was modified in order to act the way the Oracle wanted him to. Remember that the Oracle spoke to him about having to choose his life or Morpheus's, a choice that resulted in his death and rebirth as the One. It's possible that the Oracle enabled Neil's impulse to go rescue Morpheus and follow down the established chain of events. There is also the possibility that Neil's love for Trinity is the result of the cookie, because when the Oracle tells Neil that Trinity likes him, he seemed oblivious. I can see why she likes you. Who? Not too bright, though. The Oracle mentions that being the one is like being in love. As we mentioned before, 
The love between Neo and Trinity was fabricated by the Oracle, and her cookies could have played a fundamental role. As we know, Neo felt a strong urge to save Morpheus. He couldn't explain it, but after he chatted with the Oracle, he knew what he had to do. I know that's what it looks like, but it's not. I can't explain to you why it's not. Morpheus believed something, and he was ready to give his life for what he believed. I understand that now. That's why I have to go. Why? Because I believe in something. What? I believe I can bring him back. This is no longer the skeptical Neo we saw for most of the movie. He now has faith in the Oracle. He is a new modified version of himself. We all know what happens next. Neo sacrifices himself, he becomes the one, he meets the architect and reaches the source. Early in Matrix Reloaded, Neo refuses to have to make a choice between saving Trinity or Zion. Are you saying I have to choose whether Trinity lives or dies? No. You've already made the choice. Now you have to understand it. No. I can't do that. I won't. Well, you have to. Why? Because you're the one. From the very first time Neo met the Oracle, she always offers him sweets. First was the cookie, then it was the red candy. Red candy that looks awfully familiar to the red pill. Neo accepted the candy just as he did the cookie. It was intended to modify his code. Now comes the time when Neo has to choose between saving Trinity or Zion, though his decision has already been made. It's an irrational and illogical choice, born from need and selfishness. The emotion that led him to make that choice was a pre-programmed state of mind intended to always reach the same outcome. Your five predecessors were, by design based on a similar predication, a contingent affirmation that was meant to create a profound attachment to the rest of your species, facilitating the function of the One. While the others experienced this in a very general way, your experience is far more specific vis-a-vis Love. When the architect mentions the changes in Neo and compares them with the programming of his predecessors, those changes can be traced back to the Oracle. She was reprogramming the anomaly with food. The Merovingian tried to warn Neo about the Oracle, but he didn't get the hint. Here's some food for thought. Remember when Cypher was eating a juicy steak and he mentioned that it was the Matrix sending signals to his brain? We can't rule out the small possibility that Cypher had his doubts about whether or not he should betray his crewmates. But once he took a bite of the steak, his mind was made up. Ignorance is bliss. But do you agree? Do you believe that the Merovingian was warning Neo about the Oracle's control over him using food? We would like to welcome our first members of the Resistance. The Potentials, Giant Man 407 and Megamind G. And our first integral anomaly, or one, John BB. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.